Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to find the equation of motion of a compound pendulum by using Lagrangian method. Also, we will find the period of oscillation of the pendulum for small amplitude oscillations. Let us assume that our compound pendulum should be of the form and it is suspended at point S and its center of mass to be taken as C. It is oscillating in the vertical plane which is the plane of the screen. We can assume that it is oscillating in the vertical plane. So it is parallel to our screen. Uh, and uh, and we assume that theta is the instantaneous angle with SC makes. It is the instantaneous angle which SC makes with the vertical axis. Suppose this is our vertical axis and it is positioned as O, marked as O and it is making an angle theta with this vertical axis. So, S is the point of suspension, C is the center of mass, theta is the instantaneous angle and SO is the vertical axis. Now, the kinetic energy of the oscillating system, T equal to half into I theta dot square. Here, I is the moment of inertia of the compound pendulum. We can write the compound, uh, compound pendulum's moment of inertia I as I equal to IC plus M into L square. Where IC, M is the mass of the pendulum, IC is the uh, M mass of the pendulum, IC is equal to MK square where K is the radius of gyration about a parallel axis through C and L is the distance between the center of suspension and the center of mass. L is the distance of center of suspension and the center of mass. So, total moment of inertia I equal to mk square mk square plus m into L square. That is equal to m into k square plus L square where k is the radius of gyration. So, kinetic energy T equal to half uh, half I theta dot, square, theta dot square that is equal to half M into K square plus L square theta dot square. Now potential energy V with respect to the horizontal plane through S. We are making this point of suspension as our reference point. So the potential energy with respect to this S equal to minus M G L sin theta sorry minus m g l cos theta so lagrangian l equal to t minus v equal to half m k square plus l square theta dot square minus minus m g l cos theta so it is plus m g l cos theta so, this is the Lagrangian of the compound pendulum. Now, from this Lagrangian, L equal to half M into K square plus L square theta dot square plus MGL cos theta. We can write dou L by dou theta dot equal to M into k square plus l square theta dot and dou l by dou theta equal to minus m g l sin theta. We know that the Lagrange's equation of motion is d by dt of dou l by dou theta dot plus my sorry minus dou l by dou theta equal to zero. Now we can make these substitutions in this equation. Then we get d by dt of dou l by dou theta dot is 
m into k square plus l square theta dot minus minus mgl sin theta. So it is plus mgl sin theta equal to 0 or m into k square plus l square theta double dot plus m g l sin theta equal to 0 or theta double dot plus g l divided by k square plus l square sin theta equal to 0. This is the required equation of motion for a compound pendulum for oscillation for angular displacement theta. Now, if we consider small, uh, small angle oscillations or for small displacements, we can take sin theta approximately equal to theta. Then the equation for the compound pendulum now becomes theta double dot plus g l divided by k square plus l square theta equal to 0. This is the equation of motion for small angle oscillations of a compound pendulum. Now the equation is similar to the uh, simple harmonic motion equation for simple harmonic motion and comparing with the angular velocity we get omega square equal to g l divided by k square plus l square and time period t is related to omega by 2 pi by omega so making substitutions we get t equal to 2 pi into root k square plus l square divided by g l once again rearranging we can rewrite it as 2 pi root 2 pi root k square by l plus 1 sorry plus l divided by g this is the e equation for the period of oscillation for a compound pendulum executing small oscillations.